Hey guys, what's growing? It's Heather of Bush Puppy Farm, and today we have a seed haul. So I know it seems out of season to be doing this. Normally I do seed hauls like, you know, in the winter time when there's not much else going on in the garden, but I did have to order seeds for getting my my fall garden going very soon, like in the next six weeks, I gotta start seeds for those. So um, I had gone through my seed stash and found that I was lacking in a number of things. So I've got seed packets here from Baker Creek and from Botanical Interest. So I wanna go over those with you today and uh, talk about which ones are going in in the fall and which ones are just for future use uh, next year. So I'm gonna start with the um, botanical interest ones. Um, so I got some more, let me see. All right, the first one I got is more alyssum. Now, um, this one is Oriental Nights. I have a white alyssum and a pink alyssum already. This one's kind of more of a purple one. It's a really great plant to put. I, I like, it's, first of all, it's really pretty. Secondly, it smells like honey. It attracts loads of pollinators. Um, so I put it around all of my fruiting plants and my flowering plants too. So um, it's always nice to have a new variety of that. Um, and then I saw this marigold, which I'm not gonna grow this year, but I thought it was really pretty. Uh, lemon and tangerine gems. Um, these are small, so uh, cute. I've got some giant marigolds that I've got growing, uh, but it was nice to see some small ones. Uh, cilantro. I needed more, believe it or not. <laughs> so I got some. That's for this year. Um, and then for next year, this one I just saw and I thought I wanted it. This is uh, Sweet Pea um, High Scent. And it's a, like a light pink um, sweet pea variety. Hollyhocks. So um, I'll try to put a picture in here, but I have black watchman hollyhocks that I started from seed three years ago when they're finally blooming this year for the first time. And I love them. I love hollyhocks. So now hollyhocks will always be there, but I wanted to add some more. Um, so I wanted to add some double hollyhocks. The ones, the black watchmen are singles. Um, these are Charters Double Blend. Very pretty colors. So I think those will be fun. And also I think these are first year blooming ones, which is unusual. Um, all right, and then I got a few more nasturtiums because it, you can never have enough nasturtiums. So I've got peach melba, which is a lovely, lovely color. I've got, to make some room here to put these down, the Alaska variegated and a trailing nasturtium, a single blend, uh, just a couple colors there, but I love trailing nasturtiums as well, climbing and trailing. Okay, and then I got um, a couple things here. Um, so onion seeds don't last really long. Um, same thing with carrots and stuff. So I, I tend to sow them all and then just get new ones in the next year. So this one is um, a short day onion, uh, which I can go intermediate day here at my, my latitude, um, but I like short day as well. So this is a Texas early grano um, short day onion. So I'm gonna try this guy um, soon. Uh, it'll be go in the ground for the fall and hopefully um, it will overwinter like they usually do for me and I'll have some in the spring. Okay, and then speaking of spring stuff, I have, I needed more radish because I grow a lot of radish and I'm almost out. So this is the Easter egg blend and then um, watermelon radish because everybody loves one of those. Uh, I got a thank you packet of mescaline and then um, I bought this for Bascom, Mulane. This one's called Shades of Summer. This stuff is great. Um, I actually use um, Mulane for, um, for teas as sore throat uh, treatment and cough treatment when it's cold and flu season. Okay, so I have a winter squash here, a red curry, which um, is 95 days. So I actually am gonna go on and start this now. Um, we won't get frost until November, December, and it is 
the beginning of July. So I think I actually have time to uh, get this guy going. So that's gonna get started now. Another thing that's getting started now is more tomatoes. Now this is a determinate type. Um, they are, uh, these are a little bit faster and everything comes on at once. This is called cream sausage. Uh, this one is 80 days from transplant. So I'm gonna get those started this week as well. Moving on to Baker Creek seeds. All right, so a lot of these, like I said, aren't gonna go in the ground until the fall, but they will be started in soil block or seed trays in September, early September, end of August, early September. Uh, Green Globe artichokes. I've been wanting to grow artichokes for a long time, and I think this is a great variety to do that. Uh, another one of our favorite kales, this one. I like the um, more flat leaf kales because they're just easier to clean. <laughs> like uh, the super curly kales are so hard to clean and they're like, if you're, if you grow organically like we do, there's like, there's bugs all over it. So it's just easier. I like them more like that. Uh, and then I got another hollyhock, which um, again, won't be started right this moment. Um, I'll probably direct sow this in the spring or even sow it in the late fall. So it'll overwinter. All right, more for the fall, kohlrabi. This one's called Blauer Speck. It's an old German variety, so that'll be cool. Uh, more radish. <laughs> this is kind of a, it's a French heirloom that's sort of French breakfast-like. And then lettuces. I've got Little Gem here. All of these do great in the fall here. Um, May Queen a free lettuce seed called Merlot, uh, a free pepper seed called Datil or Datil. Um, this is 100 days, it's blazing hot. I don't know that I'll start that this year. I think this is gonna be a next year variety because it's 100 days. All right, more radish, early scarlet globe. And then I've got collards, we love collards. This is uh, Georgia Southern, Creole collards and um, super tolerant plant, heat and cold, uh, but those are gonna be fall planted. Then, radicchio, another one that we really love. This one's uh, Castle Franco. Um, we like it with endive in a fall salad with um, sliced apples, diced almonds, and an almond apple cider vinegar dressing. Oh, it's really good with some Parmesan cheese too, shredded in there. Okay, uh, cauliflower, purple of Sicily. So this year I'm gonna have room to grow uh, more brassicas and I'm really excited about that because I had very limited room last year because I had to put the flowers in the front, which I wasn't originally planning. Okay, more carrot, St. Valerie. Uh, this is an old French variety, 10 to 12 inch roots. So nice long roots on there. We'll see how that goes. And then my cabbage here is a Brunswick cabbage. Uh, this is one of those large drumhead cabbages. And then moving on, we've got another cauliflower here called Amazing Cauliflower. <laughs> it's apparently a very early variety and self blanching heads. So that should be really interesting. We shouldn't have to tie up the heads in order to um, create, you know, a, a white head of cauliflower. We have another cabbage called Tete Noir, so black head. Um, I, we like red cabbage in this house, so that should be really good if it works out. And then these, I tried the Pusita black last year, um, but didn't have any luck with carrots because we had a weird winter, but this one, Black Nebula. Doesn't that look amazing? I mean, you can use it as a dye, but I just think it's gonna be really cool to have black carrots. Okay, and then um, long beans, another long bean here, a Thai soldier. These are bush bean from Thailand. Um, so no trellis needed. And then finally, I've got uh, two different varieties of platycodon or balloon flower. Um, one is, Fairy Snow, and the other is Blue. Now I already have these growing in the cottage garden and they're doing pretty well, but I wanted more of them. Um, they they self-sow, but not as, as prolifically as some of the other stuff back there, so I wanted to put some more in. And then, um, I'm excited about these. These are butterfly peas. Um, this one is Blue Queen, and this one is Lavender Queen. Uh, this year, uh, my youngest, Aiden, has had a number of 
um, butterfly pea lemonade at different restaurants and I thought, oh, we could just totally make that ourselves. And so uh, I want to grow them. Those again won't be until next year, but um, I wanted to make sure I had enough seeds to get my fall uh, and winter garden started. So maybe check through your seed catalog, your seed stash and uh, make sure that you have what you need. Some seeds last many, many years and others like carrots and onions and stuff, they don't really last that long. At best, maybe about eight months, you could still plant them, but they don't always germinate. And I have definitely found that to be the case. So um, maybe go through your seeds, make sure you have everything that you need for your fall and winter garden, because it's gonna come up really fast when it's gonna be time to start sowing seeds for those gardens. And if you like to grow, um, if you can grow in the fall and the winter or fall plant for early spring, uh, whether it's flowers or vegetables, you're gonna wanna make sure you have everything you need for that. So that is my botanical interest and Baker Creek Seed Hall uh, for the fall and winter garden. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great time in your garden and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.